Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Tom Mizzle. You watch my channel Mizzle 14. And I'm here doing a review of Is Love You Is Wrong, Season 5, Episode 4. I'm gonna jump right into it because it's not gonna be a long review because I'm just getting pissed off over this. At the end, I got pissed off at the end of the video uh, of the TV show, so I'm gonna let you know why. All right, so it started off with continue from last week that Alex woke up and she did not realize what had happened. Like she was so drunk and she stopped. She did not remember. That's why I tell people. I said, listen, if you sober enough to know what's going on to mess with someone who's so drunk out of their mind and you want to still sleep with them, I, I won't even go for that far. I tell people, listen, if you too drunk. I'm not messing with you because I'm not going to be waking up the next day for you to tell me that I did something to you, that I forced you, that I drugged you. That's what all she said. She did that drunk white woman scenario when they don't remember what they did, the shameful things they had at done. And then since then they remember, they go for that, oh, you um, you sexual assaulted me, you rape, you drugged me, you forced me, all that craziness. So I don't go down that road. That route. Any other people, not just white women, any other people who's drunk, don't go down that route. So he is scared out of his mind because you know he's a lawyer, so like that. So he was like, "Listen, uh, uh don't be taking that accusations like that. Do you know? Remember what the hell happened? Do you? What's the last thing you remember?" So she was like, "Oh no, I don't know. I don't, know. I don't remember. I don't remember what's going on. I don't remember. I remember last time I was in Alley House, and then I was trying to go, um, and then this, and then she goes, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go.'" He said, I said, yeah, let this girl go. I know you're trying to clear your name and stuff, but all that stuff. So he said, go to the cops. So he said, okay, sure, you're going to do that. Because I think he said, if you're going to call the cops, he will let her know. So like that, he's a lawyer. He, he got some pulls. He said, oh, okay, sure, you're going to do that. He said, call the police. And then when she realized, when she said that, she was like, oh, hold up. Hold up. Now I'm starting to remember. I was at Natty House. Then I came and talked to you. And I stuff. And then I came here. And I remember saying that I didn't want no kids, I didn't want this life. So then she started to remember. And she said, oh my gosh, I apologize, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He said, that's crazy to accuse me for something like that. He said, I know, I know. I said, I forced myself for you, I made you, I had sex. So now she remember all that. It's because she remember, and then she went outside and threw up that little freaking small ass throw up that she had done. She threw up. So Randall nosy ass saw what happened. Because remember, he was outside from around his garbage with the um, recorder that he was doing. He was from around, and he was still outside. So he walked over, seeing what Alex, because he still think he got possessions of Alex. He walked over, saw Alex and Ian come out of the house. He said, oh, oh, so you the baby father? You know, so like, what you doing in his house? What you doing in his house, all that stuff. And Ian said, get out of here. Get on. He said, oh, you gonna make me, you gonna make me? He said, I will kick your ass. He said, go ahead, do it. He pulled out his pants, as like that, as taunting him. And I said, he had a booty, though. I said, Randy, you got a booty. <laughs> but there, he is, Randy is such a freaking douchebag. Like, he is such a prick. Like, why? Why? He's so much. He said, oh, go ahead, do it. Pull down his pants and say, kick it, kick it. Take my ass, kick my ass. Do this. So you're going to do it, do it. I said, you better leave Ian alone. Ian look like he could beat you up. It's like, Randy, you say you got all the things, but Brad beat you up before, so you better stop playing. Uh, he said, what you doing? Uh-uh. So walked out. Alex said, I'm not dealing with this. Deal with this. So he go walk her home. Ian walked Alex home. Van keep following her. He said, what you doing in the house? What you doing over here? What you doing over here? And all that stuff. And they arguing. Arguing the fight. And Alex are getting between them. She said, stop it. Stop it. And all that stuff. And he said, listen. Randall said, Get out of my face. Kiss my ass. And he pulled it down again. He said, kiss it. Kiss it. Kiss it. Kiss my ass. Take my ass. All the side. I said, oh, don't say that. And if it was Larry, he would love that. <laughs> but that was that. So Alex went back in the house. She went in the house. Ian went his own way. Randall walked away. Showing his little behind. And they freaked. Tyler Perry made sure they were showing his behind. I said, you did the show. You did show it last time across the street. Now you want to show him when he walked into this house? Like, y'all know you want to get a peek. Oh, my gosh. So, Alex working in the house. Natty saw everything. She was standing there and being nosy. I said, Natty, what the hell are you being nosy for? Terrell was on the porch because he was waiting for Lucian to get in the house. So, everybody is in the dispersed. Brad and Marcy's in the house. So, Alex came home. She was about to go upstairs. Brad said, uh-uh, come downstairs. I got to talk to you. Alex, Alex was not here for Brad. She said, listen, watch. What you want? Listen. He said, 
I got to check. I got to take my kids to school. He said the kids is already gone. Take the baby. He said the baby's here. It's fine. So she said, okay, what's going on? He was drilling the questions, the questions that Alex didn't give a damn. She was like, let's see, yep. Okay, he said, I seen your profile with all these different men. You made no way so you was doing all this thing before. She said, um, um, yeah. And you got it. Like, what do you want me to say? Yes. Now, hold on. Let me put the light on. Yeah. yeah. She said, yep. Yeah, she said, yeah. So, what do you want me to say? Yeah, I did it. And, and she said, he said, this is crazy. And that's all you got to say. She said, what else you want me to say? What do you want me to say? Take on Marcy. Marcy up here freaking saying, oh, let me slap this chick. I said, Marcy, sit your behind down. You, just, nobody asked for you to get in the scene. You just want a whole moment. Sit you behind down. So she getting up. She said, let me slap her. She let me do that. So I said, oh, she said, oh, well, we engage. We, he, we gonna get married. He's my fiance. And I said, and Alex said, okay. You wanted us to say, you know what? And then Brad confronted her about the profiles. And Alex said, okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did it. It is, it is, it is what it is. You know what? I know what she, so. She said, at least. You get in my face, but at least I can have kids. She said, oh, Brad, let me slap her. Like, he had a gut. And Marcy calmed down a little bit, all right? And so Alex said, you know what? She said, hold up. What I'm doing here? Listen, you want kids so much. You want to be a mother so much. Here, take it. Take the babies. Take the kids. Take everything. I don't want this. He said, where you going? I said, what's up? I didn't want this. I didn't want this life. I didn't want you. I didn't want these kids. I didn't want none of this. And he said, you could have said that before we got married. She said, no, I couldn't. Because all the thing I was doing, because I did, because you wanted me to do. And everything. So he sat there. She said, uh-uh, uh-uh. Y'all want it? Huh, here, have it. Here, take everything. I don't want none of this. So she got up, got in the car, and drove off. She said, y'all buy. Y'all want this life? Y'all can live. Y'all be a family. You got three kids right here. You want to be a mother? Here. You want to be bad? Brad, the wife's so bad. Now you got three kids to take care of. All right. <laughs> Alex said she walked and drove off. She went to Ian's office. Bosch did an office. Ian said it's okay. They talk a little bit. Alex said, let me drink more. I said, why are you drinking some more, girl? She said she left. She said she left everything because of him. He said, what's the correlation? She said, listen, I'm... I do mean. She was gonna have more sex in the orphan. He said, Oh, not here, not here. I said, Yeah, good. Practice self control. Come on now. And she said, Can I call you later? She said, Don't bother because when you do call me, I will find somebody else to give me the itch to scratch this itch. I said, Alex, you better go somewhere, girl. I said, I bet you better live your truth now a little bit. All right, go ahead. So she wanted it out. Alex is gone. She fall gone. So leave Alex alone. So Natty told Natty saw Terrell. Terrell tried to get in the house. Natty called Lucian. Lucian said yes. Kelly gave confirm, but he said do not let him see justice. Everything. Kelly was adamant about that. I said, okay, you will let him in the house, but you don't want him to see justice yet. Okay, I guess I guess you want to be home for that to happen. So Natty let Terrell in the house. Terrell was like, wow. You know, he's been in locked up for so long. Now he felt like this is home. He said, it's home. I'm like, wow, it's home. Like, he just out for so long. I said, how long he been out for? And then, all right. Whatever. He was so mesmerized, mesmerized about the house. So he asked for justice. He said, oh, well, justice staying with us. And she said, can I see him? He said, I'll let you know, okay? And he said, my mom told me about what happened to Travis and everything. And she said, well, listen, you talk to Kelly about that. I said, yeah, damn right. Don't ask me because I'm not getting in the middle of this. You talk to Kelly. Let Kelly tell you what happened. I like, boom, bam, that's that. Move on to the thing. All right, so back to the jail cell. Jack, jail cell. So Eddie is in there. Lucy saw Eddie. He said, what you doing in here? Eddie said, uh-uh, I just came in here. And they set me up, all that stuff, yada, yada, yada. It's a DUI, all that stuff. Even though Steven didn't see him in the DUI, Steven put him in jail because he wanted to teach him a lesson. He didn't really need to charge him with that. So it was bogus charge and everything. But Lula Lucian, Lucian going to tell Stephen to let him out. That's exactly what it is. Lucian told Stephen to let this Eddie out and everything. Now, Kelly and Eddie are still going back and forth now. I'm going to hold off while I got pissed off later on between those two. All right. 
LA Caddy got pissed off. You know, Caddy's taunted. Caddy's taunted. Caddy taunted and everything. Get him out. So Lucia saw Steven and Esperanza. They told Esperanza to tell the truth. Steven told. And Lucia said, I was like, hold on, who's the boss? Lucian or Steven. I don't say Steven's the boss of the day, so but at the same time Lucian know that Steven was did, did that out of spite. He did not see him having a DUI, you didn't arrest him all and stuff like that. He came in the house, you didn't want to have a thing. He said, Okay, I'll let him go. So Steven said, You know what? I'm gonna break again. I'm stall. So finally Steven let the young guard cop open the thing. Now Lucian did talk to Kelly and told the Kelly said, Listen, I'm gonna talk to the DA about this. You will have the permanent defender talk to you. She said, that kid, he don't know what he's doing. He don't know. I would say, yeah, you need somebody else. But let's go on because Lucian coaching that public defender to take the case. So I guess Lucian know what he's doing. He said, take the case. It's good. Now, the dean went to see Larry Ian. Now, dean wanted to know what's going on. She said, listen, I'm going to do this. I'm going to prosecute. So, but I need to know. I want no surprises. You know the ups and the outs of the freaking churches. Do I need to know anything? He said, no, nothing. Because, you know, Ian Larry is in the church pockets. Church, the pockets, Larry, they got money for them. They the big donors to the freaking firm. So, you know, Larry's not going to turn against Travis and the church and everything. And Ian, he forced it in, but Ian has like a mixed feelings about this. Everything. But Ian don't want to lose his job. So, he couldn't have touch, touch. But, so, the DA talked to Larry and he said, no, I got nothing. I don't know. Just prosecute. She said, I will. And now Larry started concerned. He said, something don't seem right. Now the, this young kid want to prosecute that he got evidence or stuff. And she goes, no, I want to see him. And he, he said, you know, he don't have to see you, right? And he said, I know, but I need to talk to him. I said, that, if that DA knows, and Lucian trying to hopefully you get a hold of this boy. Because we're going to drag this whole thing out through a whole season to find out if Kelly going to get out or not. And I'm going to get sick and tired of that. Listen. Let Kelly get her justice and get her out of there. But that's the whole, this is slow. This is like the storyline that's holding this freaking season together. Because there's not really much going on with everybody else's lives. It's not really much drama. Kelly's the only one that had this big old issue with this drama and thing, cases in court that's holding the season together. Alex, she's gone, far gone. They don't got much to spin it. The storyline, we don't even know what's going on with those. Natalie, Lucia, they all good. So we don't really much issues what's going on. So... This is the main focal point of this whole season. It's Kelly's court case and this drama and the thing and she will get out or not. So that's what they dragging this. He said something going on. I need to talk to him. All right, boom. That's that. All that stuff has happened. This is why I got upset. Okay? Eddie got out. Ed, they left him out. Young girl let Eddie out. Okay. Now Eddie went to Kelly's cell. It taunted Kelly, right? And he said, what that Bible doing there? So I said, Bible, I was like, don't do it. Don't do it. You're going to take her Bible. That's the evidence that she needs to, evidence to get her clear her nine, name. Now, he's in a freaking t uh, sheet around him. He's still not a cop right now. He just got out of jail. So you don't have him practice no freaking police duties while he's there. He said, oh, he's not supposed to have that. So the young rookie don't know any better. He said, well, you're not supposed to have that. I said, Kelly, why you have your Bible off plain in sight for him to see it? Come on, you should have just hide the Bible and everything. And then you had a picture stuck inside the Bible. I said, now, at all that stuff when he was talking, he said, got it. He said, you can't have that. So let me go. He said, I take care of it. So Eddie said, where's my Bible? That Bible, you know you're supposed to have that. So Kelly said, no, no. She hide that Bible. And I said, girl, why you hide the Bible with the pictures in it? Now, Lucia didn't want to take the pictures because Lucia said that I got to hold this on. We got to do that. I want the DA and all that stuff. We got to build this case. But I would say, more hopefully, I said, Lucia, you should have took, 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 took the pictures and hide it somewhere. Because something going to happen. And exactly what happened. Freaking. So, she hired it. But she still took the pictures out. I said, damn, we should have the Bible and took the pictures somewhere. Put the pictures in your pocket or something so he will not notice, notice that. But no, she still had the Bible with the pictures inside. Eddie had the guy to open the cell. He walks in the freaking cell and took the freaking Bible. And now Kelly is like, oh my God, stop, stop, I've been doing anything wrong. Stop, 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 stop. He's like, no, no, no. And now, you know, Eddie going to tell Larry and all that stuff. And now that's how the thing is. He's going to try and get that evidence, destroy the evidence, all that stuff. So it won't, Kelly won't get out. 
I was upset about that. And I said, how the hell are you going to open the cell and let him do all that? He just got out of jail himself. Are you going to let him walk in somebody else's cell like that? Come on, that, that's not how it's supposed to go down like that. Oh, so, yes, it's drama TV, but I didn't like that at all. And the fact that she didn't took the pictures out, knowing that he was going to try to take it, that was some evidence. That was a piece of thing that was going to get her off or help her with her case. But now, so, you should go find out. You should go try to get Eddie to get the evidence on stuff. And, you know, Eddie, Eddie going to try to play it all like he don't know what's going on. He going to tell Larry. It's going to be a whole big day. And I was so upset by that. I said, really? Really, Tyler? Really? Really? All right, that was love, love you as well. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Tell me how y'all feel, and I'll talk to y'all later. All right, it was no sisters this week because they didn't show sisters. They show something else. So it won't be no sisters this week. So hopefully next week they show the last episode of sisters. All right, talk to y'all later. Peace.